A photovoltaic panel may be used in harmony with a solar collector to harvest the heat energy from the sun. If there's enough power uh, supplied by the photovoltaic panel to power the pump, uh, it's, it's not a problem. Now, what you're looking at in the back there, that's a little uh, six watt pump. It's a, it's a tough little pump, but you, you need six watts of power. Do you think this panel will supply us with enough power to power this pump? It's, uh, the normal operating voltage for this pump is 12 volts. And as you can see, this panel is now putting out 22.3 volts. So it seems like it might power the pump. Let's hook up the pump and see what happens to the voltage. Okay. There we go. Now you saw the, the voltage just dropped to 2.0 or 1.9 1, 1 volts from uh, 22 volts. That's quite a drop. <laughs> Unfortunately, that voltage is a little too low to drive. The hardest part of a do-it-yourself solar thermal project is getting started. If you're still in the experimental stages, you're probably not ready to make a large investment. You may have built your own collector, but now you may be searching for a pump and a method of regulating the pump. As long as you can maintain the supply voltage between 10 and 14 volts, this low-cost 6-watt, 12-volt pump may be just what you're looking for. Not that I'm selling them. If you're interested, check out eBay. A one half inch bulkhead fitting can be attached to the plastic tank and this little pump can be screwed right into the bulkhead. Adapters may also be used to accommodate various size tubes and even connect two pumps in series to increase the head pressure. Let's take a close look at a simulated hybrid solar heating system so that we may better understand the electronic demands on the pump. As you can see, we have a set of 6 watt pumps connected to our storage tank. Pump 2 is the high pump and pump 1 is the low pump. For a DC power supply, we'll use a 3 watt DC adapter to simulate a 10 watt PV panel. Remember, a 10 watt PV panel has a maximum power output of 10 watts, but this power will vary with sunlight intensity. We'll only be using a 3 watt DC supply so we can better understand what happens when current is limited. In addition to our supply current limitations, we'll further limit the current available with this switch. Toggling the switch right represents a bright sunlight high current situation. Toggling the switch left represents a low light, low current situation. A differential controller is used to turn the pump on and off. Notice the two knobs towards the bottom of the controller. The knob on the left simulates collector temperature and the knob on the right simulates storage temperature. By increasing the simulated temperature in the collector, we can turn on the pump. Well, welcome to my messy little workbench. What will we do today, Mr. Canavan? Oh, okay, well, let's see what we'll do. What we want to do is uh, simulate a hybrid solar hot water system. And this is our, our tank. This represents a, a storage tank. We only have a gallon of water in this two-gallon tank, so we're not going to store a lot of heat. But this is good for experimental purposes. And this is the supply line from, from the pumps. So it's going to pump water up this tube. Now, normally this tube would, be, would go to a collector, and then it would flow through the collector and then return back to this tank. But uh, the, for this simulator, we're not using a collector. You'll have to use your imagination instead. OK, so we have two pumps. We have a high pump, that's pump number two, and a low pump, that's number one. And they're connected in series. And we can activate 
either one or both of them at the same time. And what we're primarily interested in is um, seeing what happens to our voltage supply when we activate the pump. Now right now our power supply, instead of a photovoltaic panel, we have this little wall wart power supply. It's a three watt uh, power supply. So don't expect too much from it. These are, these are six watt pumps. So it'll be amazing if they can even turn the pumps uh, at such a low uh, power output. Uh, so you know that power is equal to voltage times current, but we're just going to be monitoring the voltage right now. Uh, and this will give us uh, some idea of the amount of, of current that's available. Now these pumps are rated for 12 volts uh, DC. That's their normal operating voltage. Uh, and we have 14 volts available right now. So let's see what happens if we activate our controller. Notice these two knobs right here. This knob uh, is used to simulate the collector temperature and this knob uh, simulates the storage tank temperature. So if we increase the collector temperature we should be able to turn on our controller. Now if you look very carefully you'll, you'll see a red light right here and it's starting to glow more brightly as we increase the temperature on our collector, the simulated temperature I should say. You see it glowing nice and brightly? Eventually the pump will come on when that temperature, the temperature differential between our collector and our storage tank becomes high enough. If we activate both our pumps, let's see. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. That's with one pump, that's with two pumps. I don't know if you can see the difference, but the flow rate, the flow rate is almost twice as fast with two pumps. But look what happened to our voltage. It went from 9 volts down to 6.9 volts. So the voltage dropped even lower. Now, the next thing we want to take a look at is what happens if we have a diminished supply of sunlight? Let's say the sun goes behind a cloud or or for whatever reason, uh, we don't have very much sunlight. Well, of course, that's going to mean that there'll be less current available from our photovoltaic panel. And we can simulate that condition with this setup here. We, we do that just by putting a resistor in series with our power supply. Uh, now, right now, it's connected directly to the power supply. But if I flip this switch uh, to the left, it's going to connect a resistance so there'll be less current available. All right, now I want you to see what happens to the voltage when I do that. Okay, it's uh, 4.8 volts. And amazingly enough, the, uh, it's still pumping. But uh, it's just barely pumping. Now if I activate this right from the start, See, it's not enough to, once it gets started, it, it can go for a while, but it, it can't even get started. So you should figure that you'll need a, a minimum of 5 volt, uh, five volts to, to, uh, to run these pumps. Well, you must be pretty tired of hearing about the voltage drops when pumps are on. Uh, but there's one other thing I want to show you. If we do have a power supply that can supply enough current, the voltage won't drop. Now this power supply is now at 12.3 volts, which is actually lower than our other one was at a, a no load situation. But it supplies more current, so it, the voltage stays up. Now if I activate uh, pump number two, remember this is the high pump, this is away, away from the water supply, We'll turn that on and then we'll activate our controller. You can see the, um, the, there's no apparent effect on the uh, supply voltage, but it's not really connecting to the pump because it doesn't have it. There's no water available to the pump because the level of water in the tank is too low. 
uh, to reach the uh, pump number two. Now, pump number one is below the, the water line, so that should work. And let's see what happens to the voltage supply. All right, uh, the voltage supply huh, dropped less than a, a tenth of a volt. Uh, and you can see it's flowing, uh, it's pretty good flow rate. Now that's a hard thing to measure just by looking at it, but we'll, we'll play with that a little bit more. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect both pumps and we'll see what happens. Now uh, you can see that the flow rate has definitely increased. But how much has it increased? And what's the head pressure? Okay, now we'll be using this serious uh, power supply that will uh, give us sufficient current to power our pumps at 12 volts. Right now the, the voltage reading is 12.3, 12.4 volts. Let's turn on pump number one and see what happens to the voltage. All right, so it's dropped about a tenth of a volt. Uh, but the question is, is, uh, is there enough power in the pump to pump the water all the way to the very apex of our garage roof? It's right up there. That's at least a distance of, of nine feet from the, the top of the tank to the top of the garage. But uh, it doesn't seem to be able to handle it. Now let's connect both our pumps and see what happens. All right. Uh, so with two pumps connected in series, it has a, a pretty good flow rate. Okay, that's the basic idea from our little workshop in Montour. Let's turn off our pumps now. Now, you can see the water is being sucked back up this pipe and back into the, the drain back tank. And the, the little residual water that's left in the pipe just drips into our container. I thought you'd like this one. like a river ever changing as it flows and the dreamer's just a vessel that must follow where it goes trying to learn from what's behind you and never knowing what's in store makes each day a constant battle just to stay between the shores and I will sail my vessel Till the river runs dry Like a bird upon the wind These waters are my sky I'll never reach my destination If I never try So I will sail my vessel Till the river runs dry Too many times we stand aside and let the water slip away To what we put off till tomorrow Has now become today So don't you sit upon the shoreline And say you're satisfied Choose to chance the rapids And dare to dance the tide Yes, I will sail my vessel Till the river runs dry like a bird upon the wind These waters are my sky I'll never reach my destination If I never try So I will sail my vessel Till the river runs dry And 
There's bound to be rubber waters, and I know I'll take some falls. But with a good Lord as my captain, I can make it through them all. Yes, I will sail my vessel till the river runs dry. Like a bird upon the wind, these waters are my sky. I'll never reach my destination if I never try. So I will sail my vessel till the river runs dry. Yes, I will sail my vessel till the river runs dry. Runs dry.